And the acting director of the Secret Service says his agency failed its mission. He testified on Capitol Hill weeks after the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. Washington correspondent VNA Simlot explains what we've learned about the security planning for that event. The acting director of the Secret Service says he can't defend the planning. He says he doesn't know why the roof the shooter used wasn't secure. He also said Secret Service agents didn't know local law enforcement spotted the shooter on the roof moments before the shooting. What I saw made me ashamed. Shame, the acting director of the Secret Service says, for the failures. What happened? Oh. That led to a gunman firing at former President Donald Trump. I think this was a failure of imagination, a failure to challenge our own assumptions. The acting director says he laid on the roof less than 150 yards from where the former president was speaking, the place where Thomas Matthew Crooks tried to take the former president's life. I could not, and I will not, and I cannot understand why there was not better coverage, or at least somebody looking at that roof line. Investigators say about 30 minutes before the shooting, local law enforcement shared a photo of Crooks in a group chat. Moments before the shooting, one confronted Crooks on the roof, but the acting director says his agents didn't know this was happening. It is troubling to me that we did not get that information as quickly as we should have. Republicans accused the acting director of deflecting blame to local police. But we're still not getting straight answers. But somebody's got to be fired. I have lost sleep over that for the last 17 days. Been just like you have. somebody. The acting director says a Secret Service counter sniper was able to shoot and kill the shooter within seconds of him firing at the president. Investigators say they believe he got off eight shots.